Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Darcy here, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make free and easy <clears throat> thumbnails on iOS. So first off, you need two apps on the App Store. So you want to go ahead and open the App Store. And the first app is called, um, one second. The first app is called Fonto. And this is the app that you're going to use to put words and stuff on your video. And say Fonto, text on photos, text on images, I don't know which one. Um, so once that just loads up, it's going to look like this This red one made by you something something with that red one right there. Um, so just go ahead and download that. I already have that downloaded, so I'm not going to download it. But um, yeah, so this is just what you use to put words on your video. And let's see. So the second app that you're going to want to download is called Cut Me In. And with Cut Me In, there's a, um, it's the app they use to like put photos on top of other photos to overlay photos. And there's a lot of ones, but the one that you need is this one made by Liming Zhang. And this is the one I found to be really helpful and the one that I use in my um, thumbnails. So you want to go ahead and download that. And once again, um, I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to do that. But I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. So let's open up the apps really quickly to show you guys what they both look like. So first we're going to open up um, Fonto, this one. It's a simple white screen like this with a camera at the, and at the bottom. And with this one, it's just going to load up looking like that. So yeah, once you make sure you have these exact two apps um, to, to make to make thumbnails, what you want to do first, um, go to Safari or whatever you're using on your iPhone. And if you want to find a thumbnail background, you could just easily type in thumbnail background on Google. And there's just a bunch that you can use. And one of the ones that I've used before is like this one. So to see it, um, just click and hold on the photo, click save image. And you want to check to see if it's saved in your camera roll. Just go to photos. And then since I've already saved it, it's right here in my favorites. And then to, if you want to know what size you want to make it, this is the perfect size for a thumbnail. So if you find other thumbnail backgrounds you want, just make sure to crop it and make it about the same size as that one. And you guys, as you guys can see, I've already done that for these ones. So they are all good and ready to go for my thumbnails. And then, so once you got that, um, so you have uh, so that you have your background now, and you want to put stuff on top of your videos, on top of your um on top of your thumbnail background, and for this one, since it's a since it's a how-to video to make um thumbnails on iOS, I think I'm just gonna use like iPhone six or something, so I'm just gonna type that in on Google, I'm gonna find myself a nice photo, nice and easy to use photo, and hold on, let it just load, and I'll choose a good one. So let's see. I don't want one that's like side width. I want one that's just like straight up and down. And that one on the left in the middle looks good. So I'm just going to click and hold on this and then save the image. And then I'm not going to check because I know it's going to be saved there. So once you have your images in your background, um, open up Cut Me In. And then click the bottom on, the button on the bottom left right there. And then it opens up your camera roll and then choose the photo that you want to edit. And I'm going to choose the iPhone 6 obviously. And if you click the button in the bottom left right there, it's just going to select the whole image without cropping it. And that's what you want to do. So to use this app, it starts out with like that little yellow um, marker or pencil. And you just like draw and it like highlights the area around it. And that's what you use. And then the eraser button obviously erase it. And you can make the eraser bigger or smaller depending on how you want it. And then the button on the right right there is like a brush. Like it makes like the exact line. It doesn't highlight the area. It just makes the exact line that you make. And you can also make that bigger and smaller. And it's kind of useful for like small tight areas. And obviously on the bottom left is uh, the back button. So you can go back and then the bottom right is the front button. So I'm just going to fast forward through all my um, my cropping of the video. So everything that you want on top of your background, you want to make sure it's highlighted in red. So here I just finished up doing that. And once I'm done, I'm going to click the green plus, the green check at the top and then click save and continue. And now you can look how your image looks, and I can see the two iPhone buttons on the left look kind of awkward. So I'm going to get rid of that. So anytime you want to, you can just click back, and it just goes back to the image. You can take the eraser tool, select it on the left, and get rid of the stuff on the left. And now the iPhone will be good, and I'm cl yes, and then the check button, and then save and continue again. The bottom left, you can click the plus with the camera, change background. And then you go find your background, and I'm gonna, um, let's see, I'm just going to use this blue one. And my image is right here. So as you guys can see, I can easily just put the iPhone on top of the uh, background. I can put my thing on top of the background without really moving it around or anything. And it's really simple. And you can make it bigger, smaller, rotate it. And it's really easy. So I'm just going to make it big and put one on the right. 
and then once I get that, I'm gonna put one on the left. So this is the so this app is just this app is really easy to put all kinds of um, photos on the on top of your um, thumbnail background. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'll show you guys a bunch of examples that I've done, and another my a friend of mine, a YouTuber named Quan Games, have done. So just make sure you stick to the end <clears throat> of the video. Sorry, I'm speaking too fast. I'm losing my breath. Um, yeah. So it's kind of taking me a while right now. Can't get it centered, and that looks pretty much good. So once you have one of them down, you can click plus at the bottom left, and then add cut image, and then choose the image that you want. And then, so since that image that we just did is automatically saved in this app, it's gonna be saved. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click it, and then put it back on the screen. But the bad thing about this app is like, there are ads, um, and also like when you save an image, um, so it gets gets deleted after a couple of days. So yeah, so once I have that done right there, um, I just click save to camera roll. With I click the button, I think, in the top right, save to my camera roll, and I've opened up Fonto. And now Fonto, I'm just going to select the photo that I want, which is right here. And now that I've got that open, I just double tap the screen to start typing in some words. And I could type all the words in at once, but I'm just going to put them all um, separately because I don't want the, all the words to be the same size, obviously, because thumbnails is a long word. But if you want them all to be the same size, you could just like type them in at the same, um, in the same like text box. Yeah. So to type, you just want to double tap, double tap, and just type whatever you want. So I'm gonna write thumbnails for iOS. As you guys can see, if you select, you, you can just select all of them and like make the size bigger or smaller at once, which I'm gonna do for now. But it's kind of, uh, it's not really that useful if you want to do all the colors. That I mean, it's useful for the colors, but not really for the size, because um, not all the words are the same length. So now I have this thumbnail word pretty good. It's pretty well sized out. I'm going to make the four a little bit bigger. And you could just click the move button once you select the word and then just move it up or down to the side really easily without like using your fingers. That way it's like you can get it really nicely centered. And then to grow it, you can just click the plus or minus to make it bigger or smaller. And you can get it really precise and nice looking. So yeah, now that I have the words down um, and the size down, I want to get um, them nicely colored. So to do that, you want to click font. Oh, wait, no, that's not the color. That's the font. So there's just a bunch of fonts in this app that you can use like um, to make it look however you want. I think I'm going to choose a font for each of the words. So for iOS, I'm going to do this cool like little spookyish Halloween themed one. I don't really know what it's called. And then... Uh, for this one, I'm just going to choose another cool one. This one looks kind of cool. And then for this one, I'll just choose another one as well. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, there are a lot of choices. There's, there's probably a couple hundred on here that you can choose from. So, yeah. So, this is also a really cool app to use for the thumbnail. And with these two apps, thumbnails can be made, like, really simply within, like, five to ten minutes without really any work. And then to select the words, um, you just select the words and you click, um, not... You click style to change the color, obviously. And then if you want to change the color, you can just click one of the buttons. Uh, you can just click the color button. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of colors. And if you click the style button at the bottom, um, you can or the pattern, I think, at the top, you can change the different patterns of the colors. So I can make one purple and then one yellow. Just get a purple, yellow, and theme look kind of cool. And then if you go back um, to the background, you can change the background. If you want to get rid of that, go to the alpha at the bottom, put that on zero. And then go to the stroke, or go to the style at the top, and then put alpha all the way up, and the word kind of like pops out and zooms in so you can see it better. But yeah, that's pretty much all you got to do, and this thumbnail is looking pretty good. So I'm just going to click the save button in the bottom right corner, save the image, and it's saved in my camera roll now. So now I'm just going to go there, and you guys, wait one second, as you guys can see, the thumbnail looks pretty cool. So yeah, um, this these two apps are really easy to make um, thumbnails for um, on iOS, and then they fit perfectly on the on YouTube or whatever you're trying to use it for, and they look really nice. And this is one by Quan Games. Um, this is a really cool um, thumbnail that he's made, and I just have two more examples at the end. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed these videos on how to make free and easy to use thumbnails on iOS. So if you guys liked the video, please drop a like down below. If you have any questions or problems, comment that down below. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.